So let's move on to our next part of creating our strategy. So we figured out our target audience. For me, Kijani Rich, I am trying to reach newlyweds, first time buyers that are wealthy. And I've collected my demographic information. I've collected my psychographic information. I know my target customer's interests and I know my target customer's behavior, which will be so much easier now for me to find these people when I am creating my campaign. Now that I know who I'm trying to reach, the next thing that I need to do is figure out my objectives or my goals. This is the second part of creating your Facebook ads strategy. Now, before you create an ad, please, please first consider what your business goals are. What are you trying to achieve? What is the, what is the end result that you are looking for? What are you hoping your ads will help you do? Your goals are what will ultimately determine the direction that you take with your ads including the creatives that you use. The, you, will you use images? Will you use videos? Will you use carousels? Your goals are what will determine that. The type of creatives that you use as well as the ad formats and the ad types that you use. Will you place them in stories? Would you rather create ads for reels? Your objectives are what will determine that. And within Facebook Ads Manager, there are 11 objectives spanning three main categories of the buyer's journey and the buyer's journey is the process that someone takes from the time they become aware of your product to the time they purchase your product that process is known as the buyer's journey and facebook ads are designed to allow you to reach customers in every stage of the buyer's journey from awareness to consideration to conversions and the 11 objective facebook has grouped um the 11 objectives according to which stage of the buyer's journey you are trying to reach. So um, when you go to create a campaign, one of the first things that you have to do is choose your campaign objectives. And there are 11, which can make it really hard to know which ones to choose. So under the awareness, where people become aware of your product, you're meeting your brand for the first time, you have two main objectives, brand awareness and reach. And then under consideration, you have traffic, you have engagement, you have app installs, you have video views, you have lead generation, and then you have the messages objective. And then under conversion, which is usually the most costly, the most costly ads you will ever run are conversion ads. And under conversions, you'll have conversions, you'll have catalog sales, and you have stop traffic. So the objectives, a lot of people get it wrong. And this is such a huge huge component of ensuring that your ads are successful facebook ads objectives are the backbone of any facebook campaign it is important to know what you want to achieve in order to choose the right facebook objective your facebook advertising objective is what you want people to do when they see your ads when people come across your ad on their newsfeed as they are scrolling what is it that you want them to do that is what an objective is. You have to tell Facebook what action you want someone to take after they take after they see your ad. And this is one way that Facebook determines who should be shown your ad. So you have to get this right. So for example, if I want to show uh, my website to people interested in my business, and I want to create an ad to encourage people to visit my website, meaning that I am looking for website traffic, then the objective that I'm going to pick is website traffic. And Facebook will find me people that are more likely to take that action, people that are actually likely to click on my link and go to my website. Facebook will find me those people. But I have to tell Facebook that those are the people that I want to reach. If you choose reach because you are trying to reach as many people as possible, that is literally exactly what Facebook will do. It will find you as many people as possible in your target audience, in your budget. That is exactly what Facebook will do. So if you want buyers and you choose reach, then you won't be as successful because you haven't told Facebook to find you buyers. If you want buyers, you have to, take, to choose the conversion objective. If you choose the conversion objective, Facebook will find you buyers. Facebook will find you the people that are most likely to come to your website and buy from you based on past actions. Facebook knows these things, right? Facebook knows you. 
So if you want people to come to your website, choose traffic, right? So the object the objective that you pick is traffic. So when advertisers, when we as advertisers choose a campaign objective, we are literally telling Facebook what you want them to do. If you choose an awareness campaign, you're asking Facebook to reach as far as possible and Facebook will seek to do just that, regardless of clicks, conversion and engagement. If you choose an engagement objective, you're telling Facebook that what you want is likes, comments and shares. And by the way, this is what you're telling Facebook when to do when you boost a post. When you boost a post expecting sales, it's very likely that you won't get sales because you haven't told Facebook to find you buyers. You've told Facebook to get you as many likes, as many comments as possible. And that is what Facebook will do. Okay. Facebook will show literally your, your ad to everyone with a thumb. Everyone that is likely to comment, everyone that is likely to like your page, Facebook will show you whether they're serious or not about buying your product. Facebook will show you, will show them that ad. So you can't choose reach. You can't choose the reach objective expecting sales. Okay, so that is why you've probably never seen any real results when you boost your posts because you're telling Facebook you want, you are expecting buyers, but that is not what you're telling Facebook you want. You're telling Facebook you want likes, you want comments, and then you're expecting buyers. Facebook will do exactly what you tell it to do. No kidding. Okay, Facebook knows us. And I have been using Facebook for more than 10 years, and chances are, you have been as well. And over that period, Facebook has developed an amazingly accurate profile of us as users, as Facebook users, and us as consumers, as people who browse online and shop online. Facebook knows that every time we like a post or share a post or comment, every time we click on a website via a Facebook button, every time we explore the web, Facebook is watching the actions that you are taking. They Facebook knows if you're the type of person who buys something as a result of a Facebook ad, or if you click on blogs, or if you read shared articles, or if you like recipes. Facebook knows that whatever you have been doing on Facebook, Facebook has been monitoring you, and Facebook has been keeping track of that activity and categorizing you, putting you in a category. Now, it's kind of terrifying if you think about it as a Facebook user, but as a marketer, from a marketing perspective, it's genius because that is what you're doing. You're telling Facebook, find me these people. And Facebook will find you exactly those people. The Facebook algorithm has become an incredibly valuable resource because the algorithm knows and it can predict how their users are likely to behave. So if you want certain type of buyers and tell Facebook, these are the types of buyers I want and this is the objective that I want to fulfill. Facebook will do exactly that. So this is why your Facebook objectives come into play. You have to tell Facebook what you want to achieve with your ads. So let's look at these objectives one by one. So starting with the first objective, the first um, stage of the buyer's journey, awareness objective. Let's look at these awareness objectives. As you can tell from the name, brand awareness objectives help you generate awareness for your brand. Awareness ads are therefore designed to generate interest in what you offer. And whenever you want to generate interest or expand your audience, you can choose from two awareness objectives, brand awareness objective and the reach objective. So let's look at the brand awareness objective, objective number one. The brand awareness objective is for advertisers who want to show ads to people who are likely to recall them. If you want to find people in your target audience that are likely to recall your brand, to remember it, Facebook will find you people that are most likely to do that. The brand awareness objective helps you raise awareness for your brand. Literally, it's in the name. And many advertisers launch a brand awareness campaign and expect a huge increase in customers and sales. In effect, they are setting themselves up for a nasty surprise. Like I said, if you're telling Facebook to, you want brand awareness, Facebook will get you brand awareness. Exactly that. Nothing extra, nothing more. It would get you buyers. It would are some of those people likely to buy from you? Probably. If you have a good product, probably. You would probably 
catch a few buyers here and there, but that is not the objective that you want. If you want buyers, tell Facebook you want buyers, okay? If you want brand awareness, Facebook will get you brand awareness. So don't pick the brand awareness ex objective expecting to get lots of customers and lots of buyers because that likely will not happen. For the most part, brand awareness ads alone do not convert the viewers that see these ads into customers. The main goal of brand campaigns is not to drive sales. It has never been and it shouldn't be. It's literally in the name, brand awareness. Instead, the aim should be to ensure your company is the first thing that people think about when they need your product or service. When they need a product or service that you offer, brand awareness campaigns will help you stay top of mind, okay? As a result, people who have seen your brand awareness ads are more likely to convert into customers later when they see you prospecting or when they see your remarketing ads, when you rely on your pixel and remarket people that have been to your website, they will be more likely to do whatever it is that you want them to do because they have already interacted with your brand and brand awareness ads will help you do that. I'm not saying they're not important, but they likely will not generate the sales that you are looking for. So with a brand awareness campaign, the point is to introduce your brand to a wider audience or increase awareness of your products and services. Literally, it's in the name. The Facebook objective, this Facebook objective is ideal when you need to pick the interests of new audiences or stay top of mind with your current customers. If you want to ensure that your current customers keep remembering, if you want to ensure that when people need a product or service like yours, your name is the first one that they think about, then the brand awareness objective is for you so when should you use the brand awareness objective if you've got a brand new listing as a real estate uh, agent or a broker if you've got a new business if you've got a new product or a service for example it makes a lot more sense to choose the brand awareness objective to make people aware of your brand yeah and when they become aware of, of your brand then you can try and sell them later you can try and give them a discount you can try and give them uh, a lead magnet like a free ebook a checklist first introduce people to your brand especially if it's new if you are new to the market you can't just show up and say hey i'm selling this something buy from me introduce people first warm them up because the truth is you cannot launch something new today and expect to start generating sales straight away why because your target audience doesn't know who you are meaning that they do not trust you yet and research shows that people buy from those they are familiar with so familiarize yourself first with your audience before you attempt to sell to them and that is what a brand awareness ad will help you do this is so important especially if you are in a saturated market or if you're introducing something new something brand new that people have never interacted with before you'd probably be better off running a brand awareness ad first. From that brand awareness, you may get a few inquiries, but that is not the objective. When you run a brand awareness ad, Facebook will not find you buyers. There might be a few buyers, you might get a few inquiries, but the objective primarily is to make people aware of your brand. And when you choose this objective, don't expect your target audience to take additional action. The goal here is to reach customers and start to make an impression. You can still try to promote your product and you may see sales. Like I've said, you may see sales, you may see a few inquiries, but that's not necessarily what you are optimizing the campaign for. So for example, the people who see your brand awareness ad probably won't click through to your website or make a purchase, not yet, but they will be aware of you. They will know that you exist. Please note that uh, the brand awareness objective is geared towards driving ad recall. What does ad recall mean? This means that Facebook is going to serve your ad to the people they believe will remember seeing these ads after maybe two days, after five days, after seven days. And you'll be charged based on CPM or cost per 1,000 impressions. Most brand awareness campaigns will charge you based on CPM. And most brand awareness campaigns are relatively affordable. You can start a brand awareness campaign and spend 500 shillings every day, which is not bad because you're simply introducing your brand to your target customer. You don't want to go all in with your ad spend.
Now, under awareness, the second objective that you can find under the awareness uh, stage is the reach objective. The reach objective is pretty straightforward. You use this objective when you want your ad to be seen by as many people in your target audience as possible. Plain and simple. The goal of this objective is to try and maximize your exposure. If you have an ad and you want a large number of people to see it and you don't necessarily need to optimize for any action except for people to see your ad, then this is a good one to choose. With the rich objective, Facebook will optimize your ad for the highest number of possible impressions with no consideration of clicks or actions taken by the people who see your ad. This could potentially be a cheap way to get a lot of exposure for your brand. So when should you use reach? Use the reach objective if you want to reach the maximum number of your target audience repeatedly that your ad budget allows over a short period. This is an excellent option if you are promoting a limited time offer. If you have a discount that is expiring in like two days, go for reach. Then Facebook will try and reach as many people in your target audience and in your budget as possible. So go for reach if that is what you are trying to reach, especially works great for discounts, limited time offer, also events, events like concerts and, and stuff like that. Reach is a really nice objective to go for. Now let's move on to the next stage, consideration objectives. Consideration objectives are objectives that get people to start thinking about your brand or business or things, ads that make people uh, click to learn more information about it. These are um, consideration are people that are somewhat interested in your brand or in your product or in your service or in your listing, but they haven't quite, you know, convert. They haven't. They're not quite convinced that you are the right person. They're still comparing their options. They're looking at all available options in order to help them make the best decision. This is what the consideration stage is. And so your ads in the consideration stage need to reflect that, okay? And there are six consideration campaign objectives that are action oriented. And these are traffic, engagement, video views, lead generation, messages, and app installs. You're, you're literally telling Facebook, this is the action that I want people to take. So consideration objectives are action oriented and Facebook will show your ads to people within your target audience who are likely to take the action that you choose. So let's go through these objectives. Objective number three under the consideration is the traffic objective. And this is pretty straightforward. The traffic objective is designed to drive people to your website, it's designed to drive traffic to your website or to your app. And the traffic objective is designed to get people to click on your ad. When traffic, traffic ads are sometimes called click ads and that's why they're called click ads. They're designed to get people to click on your ads. And when you click, when you choose the traffic objective, Facebook will show your ad to people that are most likely to take that action. People that have previously taken the action of actually clicking the ad, Facebook will show your ads to those people. When you choose traffic as your objective, Facebook will give you an option to choose between landing page views and link clicks to optimize for delivery. So you tell Facebook where you want this traffic to go. Do you want this traffic to go to your landing page or do you want to, this traffic to go to a general area, like a blog page on your website? And if you select landing page views at the ad set level, Facebook will prioritize showing your ad to people in your target audience who not only click links, but will also wait for your website to open so they can view it. They will wait for your landing page so they can view it. And if you want to optimize for landing page views, your ad account must be connected to the Facebook pixel that is installed on your website. Again, remember when we are starting this whole strategy creation process, we say a huge part of your strategy rests in on how well you have set up your pixel and how well you have set up your event. So please make sure that everything is running smoothly. By now, you should already have set those up. And if you choose uh, a URL, if you decide I don't have a landing page, so don't pick a landing, landing page views if you don't have a landing page. So if you choose link clicks, Facebook will deliver your ads to the mo people most likely to click on 
them and that's just that you decide where you want to send the traffic are you sending the traffic to a landing page or are you sending the traffic to a more to a specific url those are the options that facebook will give you if you choose the traffic objective so when should you use the traffic objective select the traffic objective when your goal is to lead or send people from facebook to your website and they don't need to take a specific action such as sign up for a guide or a webinar you are literally just getting traffic to that page yeah and facebook will will send you that traffic best this the traffic objective is best used when you are promoting content like a blog post or a podcast um and you can also uh choose traffic when you want to send people to a product that you have just introduced just to make them aware just get them there and then once you get them there the facebook pixel will do the rest right so you can also choose that objective if you plan to use your pixel to you know create a custom audience you can also create you can also choose the traffic objective so for example if you'd like more people to read a blog article or read a case study or if you are a restaurant and you want people to come to your page and look at the menu you can use the traffic campaign objective to get them there and then objective number four under consideration is the engagement objective and the engagement objective is designed to get more people to see and engage with your facebook page or with your facebook posts literally you are you are buying engagement and when you uh when setting up an ad with this objective when you do decide that i want engagement you can choose from three engagement type options you can choose post engagement you can choose page likes and you can choose event responses literally you tell facebook this is the type of engagement i want i want engagement on my post or i want uh, my facebook page to get likes or i want uh, people to respond to my facebook event so when do you choose the post engagement you choose post engagement if you're choosing the engagement objective and you want to go for the post engagement choose this and facebook will show your ads to people that are most likely to to like to share and comment on your post at the lowest possible cost. If you are, or if you already have an organic post which is performing really, really well in terms of engagement, and you want it to get in front of more people, or if you want to get in, if you want to get in front of more of your Facebook page audience or a completely new audience, this is an objective for you. So this is an objective you choose for evergreen content. If you have a really good piece of Instagram carousel that is doing really really well why not generate some even more engagement because if you generate even more engagement then facebook will show your that piece of content to even more people and it will be a snowball effect even more people coming to your ads might lead to even more inquiries and and things like that will start to happen so if you have a really good piece of content that is performing really well and you want it to get to even more people choose the engagement of the objective don't boost your posts choose the engagement objective because that is exactly what facebook will tell you and if you boost your posts remember you won't have as much uh, as much uh, as much variety uh, in terms of who you want people to see who who you are trying to reach when you boost your post you just click you want to boost your post and then you tell facebook i want this ad to be shown to people in kisumu uh, that are ages 28 and yeah that's just about it but when you do this on ads manager and you tell facebook i want to get engagement on this post you can tell facebook facebook i want you to show this post on to get engagement specifically from new moms with toddlers you can't do that when you boost a post you can only do that on ads manager so stop boosting posts use this objective use the engagement objective to get the engagement results that you want when should you choose page likes like the name suggests if you want to build awareness for your business by increasing the number of likes on your page then this option is available but this option page likes is only available on facebook and cannot be used to grow your instagram followers so please know that page likes is a vanity metric 
yeah it will make your facebook page look good but it won't really do anything for your sales it won't do anything for your profits it won't do anything for your bottom line just because someone has liked a page doesn't mean that they're interested in what you have to offer so pay that in mind page likes is a vanity metric but it could be important if you're launching a new service and you want social proof you want when people come to your page you want them to see that you have likes i guess this is something that you could go for as long as it ties in to your broader business goals don't just do it because of vanity because you want 10,000 likes don't do that because it's pointless okay hi the next engagement or objective that you can choose is event responses you can only use this objective to promote events specifically created on facebook so if you have a facebook event you can use this uh, objective event responses to get as many responses as possible to get as many people to sign up to your event as possible and not many businesses still use events on facebook but if you are one of the few that do then this will allow you to get your event in front of even more people and if you run events using software other than facebook such as your own website if you have uh, an event on your own website where people, you need people to come and sign up this is not the objective to choose okay you will want to choose another objective like traffic or conversion because you are actually asking people to come to your website and sign up for something so don't choose this objective unless you have a facebook event that you want to promote okay the fifth objective that you can choose from that you can choose when it comes to running facebook ads is app installs the app installs objective is a consideration objective and this makes sense if you have an app and your primary goal is to increase downloads then the app installs campaign objective is what you should go for and your if you do your ads will then be shown to the people in your audience who are most likely to install an app and clicking the ad when people see your ad and they click on it it will take them directly to their app store so that they can download your app it's very simple and if you do have an app and you want to run uh, an ad for app installs to get the best results from this objective you will need to register your app with facebook and then you need to implement the sdk the the facebook sdk is what allows mobile app developers to integrate facebook within a mobile app and SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it allows for a website or an app to integrate with Facebook seamlessly. Examples of what you can do with Facebook SDK include um, Facebook login functionality. So that's how you are able to easily log into Candy Crush via your Facebook account. It's because of the Facebook SDK. So if you are running uh, an ad to get more app installs please make sure that you do um, set everything up register your app with facebook and then implement the sdk facebook has gotten really good at giving you the step by step but you create apps you should know this yeah so there are two types of app install campaigns when you do choose the app install objective facebook will give you two type of app install campaigns that you can choose so you can choose automated and manual so as you can see from this screenshot um app install this is what you go to this is what you will see if you do choose the app install objective and facebook says it will show your ads to people who are most likely to download and engage with your ads and it will give you two two options app install campaign times to give you two campaign types it will let you choose between automated app ads and here is where you can drive campaign performance and continue to sustain it over time and it will it will give you another option of app ads where you will manually set up and run your own app campaigns if you choose automated app if you if you choose automated app facebook will automate the ads for you uh, you will have to install uh, you will have to install i think a number of images a number of creatives uh, of, like five headlines and then facebook will create dynamic ads for you facebook will create dynamic ads for you and then it will uh, show those ads to the people most likely to take action on them so yeah you'll be given two options automated app ads and app ads automated app ads is facebook will will 
do the work for you. It will create create the dynamic ads for you. And if you do choose app ads, if you don't choose dynamic ads and you go for the app ads, you'll have to manually set up your own ads, which isn't as difficult actually. It's just like setting up any other ad. So when to choose when should you choose the app install objective? Obviously you should choose the app install objective if you want more people to install your app. It's pretty straightforward. If you're interested in getting more people to download and use your app, the Facebook app install ads are one of the best ways to do it. And when you first launch an app, the first 72 hours are the most important and you want to get as many downloads as possible to increase your app store ranking. And this objective is what will allow you to kickstart those downloads that you need to rank high on the app store objective number six the video views objective right if you want to show uh, your video to as many people as possible then you should use the video views objective i love this objective because you can actually create a custom audience from people that have viewed your video so this is an awesome objective this is an awesome objective for almost every industry real estate e-commerce insurance videos work so well for social media they're so effective and they really 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 work well especially when it comes to ads and video views campaigns can help you build trust and awareness with a cold audiences when you are reaching people for the first time video is one of the best ways to do that and you can create retargeting audiences based on the length of time people watch your video to take them further down your funnel. So if someone has watched your video for longer than five minutes, let's say your video, the entire length of your video is seven minutes. If someone has watched your video up to five minutes, then it's fairly safe to say that they're interested in, they might be interested in what you have to offer. And so you can create a custom audience to retarget people that have watched your video with another ad. So when creating a video views campaign, you can choose to show your ad to an audience that's most likely to watch your ad for at least two seconds or 15 seconds or more. And this is known as through play. So when you are creating your ad and you choose video views as your objective, this is, you will see this screen uh, where Facebook will tell you to optimize your ad for delivery. What do you want? Do you want through play? And if you choose through play, Facebook will deliver your ad to help you get the most completed video plays if the video is 15 seconds or shorter. For longer videos, this will be optimized for people who are most likely to play at least 15 seconds. And if you choose two second continuous video views, Facebook will deliver your ads to get the most video views of two continuous seconds or more. Most two second continuous videos views will have at least 50% of the video pixels on the screen. So you choose which one you want. You want through play or do you want two second continuous views? So when do you choose the video views objective? Video views are great for targeting cold audiences because they are engaging and they help to increase your brand awareness. So if you want to generate brand awareness, um, this is a great objective to choose. And because you, when you choose video views, you can create a custom audience and target people who have watched your videos. Then this is a really, really great objective and would work for literally any business, whether you want to introduce whether a new product or a service, whether you want to get people to click on on a link because you can also include a link in your video views. Video views is an excellent objective because video is becoming more and more popular and people love it. That's why Facebook sees over 8 billion video views every day. And it's not surprising then that video views is now an advertising objective. And I actually suggest that you test it out, test video views and see how well it performs. If you have an awesome video that you want to share with the world, you should use the video views objective. It's relatively, uh, it's a relatively new objective compared to some of the others. So the cost per view is extremely low. So we've seen video views cost as low as 0.001 dollars, which is fantastic. And it will get the message across, especially if you've created a really, really engaging video. Objective number seven under consideration is the lead generation objective. And lead generation is simply the process of building interest in a business's products or services. On Facebook, 
you can create campaigns using a lead generation objective that allows your target customers to fill a form called an instant form with their contact information. Lead ads simply just make the mobile sign-up process more straightforward, more effective, and simpler. And when someone clicks on your lead ad, a form will open up uh, with that person's contact information automatically populated based on the information that they have already shared with Facebook, like their name and their email address. And all they have to do is tap, tap, done. So automatically populating the contact information that people share with Facebook makes filling in the form as fast as two tabs, like literally one click on the ad to open the form and another to submit the auto field form, which is simple, fast, straightforward. Now, the only issue with um, lead ads, lead generation ads, uh, when you choose the lead generation objective, the only issue is that people don't keep their email addresses up to date from when they first signed up on Facebook. The email address I signed up on Facebook with was a Yahoo email address, and I haven't opened that email address in years, maybe eight, seven years. So that's the only issue when it comes to uh, when you use the lead generation objective. Therefore, the response rate, because people's email addresses are not up to date, the response rate post sign up isn't as high as when you use conversion campaigns pointing to a specific landing page where in information isn't automatically in populated, where people have to enter their email address, their current email address manually. That would be more probably be more effective because some people don't keep their, their Facebook email addresses up to date. So decide, test out lead generation objective on Facebook and then test out lead generation through a landing page and see which one works best. Facebook ads are all about testing. You won't know what actually works for your business until you actually do it, okay? And lead ads also don't allow you to provide as much information about your offer as if you were to use a specific landing page. So if that's what you want, if you want people to come to your landing page, learn about your offer, learn about the things that you do, learn about the benefits, the, the pros, then create a landing page and then direct people to that landing page. Choose the traffic objective or if you don't choose the traffic, of, if you if you want people to actually come and sign up, if you want Facebook to find you people that are most likely to come and sign up on your landing page to fill in their email address or their contact information, book a consultation, whatever, then you choose the conversion objective. But you can only run a conversion ad if you have the pixel set up and if you have the event set up. So if that's what you want, if you want to generate leads through a landing page, don't pick lead the lead generation objective because that is for Facebook. The lead generation objective will allow you to create an instant form so you can collect lead information. You can correct sorry, you can collect uh, people's contact information directly from Facebook. They don't have to leave the app. But if you do want people to leave the app and come to your landing page, this is not the objective that you should pick. So when should you choose the lead generation objective? Select this option if you are interested in getting people to give you their contact details directly from Facebook. That if you want people to fill that instant form directly from Facebook, then that is the objective that you should choose. Objective number eight in the consideration um, stage is the messages objective and the messages objective is facebook's is one of facebook's newer campaign objectives and it is optimized to have your audiences start a conversation with you uh via your facebook page or via your messenger so if your primary objective is to start conversations with people in messenger or in instagram direct or by a DM, then the messages campaign objective can be very effective. Facebook will show your ads. If you choose this objective, if you choose the messages objective, Facebook will show your ads to the people most likely to send you a message based on their history on the platform. So when should you choose the messages objective? The messages objective is a good option if you want people to have an opportunity to chat with you or ask questions prior to making a purchase. If you have that kind of product that requires people to ch chat a bit, 
this would work also really well for real estate then the messages objective pick this it will take it will nudge people to get in touch with you talk to you before they actually take the next step to working with you and they will chat with you on messenger on dm yeah i think yeah yeah so if you do choose this the messages objective please make sure that you have someone monitoring your inbox and responding to all the incoming messages within a short period of time if people are sending you messages then they have clicked on your ad they expect to be responded to promptly many users will expect a response within 10 minutes and you are the same too if you are sending a message to a business you expect them to respond as soon as possible so make sure that there's someone monitoring your your inbox if you do choose the messages objective and then now we are on the last stage of the buyer's journey the conversion objectives and facebook's conversions objectives are conversions catalog sales and store traffic and if you choose this um you are encouraging people interested in your business to buy or use your product or service if you want sales these are the objectives that you choose conversions catalog sales or store traffic if your goal is to reach people who will take a specific action on your website including adding products to their cart signing up for your newsletter making a purchase booking a consultation then the conversions objective is typically the best one to go for if you want people to come to your website and take a specific action choose the conversion objective and facebook will find people that are most likely to take that action so please note that the conversion objectives often lead to higher costs for impressions and link clicks than awareness or consideration objectives so if you do want to find buyers you need to have the budget for it right uh yeah ten thousand shillings will probably not cut it yeah okay your budget will need to be slightly higher because it will cost you more okay it will cost you more if you run a conversion objectives and you say i am not getting the results that you want it could very likely be that you are not spending enough money to get those conversions okay so you have to have a good ad budget in order to make conversions happen and to use these objectives you must install the facebook pixel on your website and then once you install the facebook pixel on your website you also have to install the conversions api on your website and you can only install the conversions api after you verify your domain and configure your events within events manager so let's look at which objectives fall under conversion so like i've said conversions will lead to higher costs for impressions um so let's look at the first conversion objective that you look at look at which is the product catalog sales objective and if you're a product-based business um if you sell if you have an instagram shop if you have a facebook shop if you have a shopify if you have woocommerce that is connected to your instagram then this is the objective that you want you should already i recommend that you upload oh, <laughs> see the approved i recommend that you upload your product catalog onto facebook i recommend that you open a facebook shop open an instagram shop because it will be so much easier for you to create dynamic ads for you to create retargeting ads for you to create custom audiences of people who have viewed your catalog please go ahead and create uh, a catalog on facebook even real estate you can create a, a listing catalog yeah of all the listings that you have and you can retarget people based on the people that look at particular listings you can create a custom audience of people who have interacted with your marketplace listing so consider creating a catalog on facebook if you're a product-based business if you have listings if you have a shop if you yeah catalog sales is an objective that you can use to show your products to your targets to show your to show your products to your target audiences and this uh when you create product catalog catalog classes uh when you sorry when you create catalog uh when you choose the product catalog sales objective you will create something that is known as uh you will have the ability to create something that is known as dynamic product ads and this dynamic product ads let you show users a variety of products in your ads or retarget with specific pro products based on someone's activity 
on your website or based on someone's activity on your catalog. Like you can create dynamic ads to show people the exact products that they were looking at, but did not add to cart. I hope that makes sense. And if you've ever added a pair of shoes to your basket on Jumia, and then Jumia followed you around Facebook with that particular item that you added, it's probably because they're using a catalog sales ad in the hope that you will return to buy that item. So this that's how you can use catalog sales. And using this type of ad requires you to create a Facebook catalog. You need a Facebook catalog or you need an Instagram shop. And Facebook will select images from this catalog to use in your ads. So make sure that they're eye-catching to stop people scrolling through their newsfeed. And when should you choose the product catalog sales objecting? Obviously, if you have a catalog, choose this objecting. It is a good choice if you have a large number of products and want to show potential customers items based on their previous interactions with your business. This is where you do retargeting and remarketing. And this objective allows you to create adverts that are automatically shown products from your product catalog based on your target audience, right? The adverts will be shown to the people that have interacted with your catalog. The other objective that you can choose is the store visit objective. And if you have multiple brick and mortar stores, you have several locations and you want to drive more food traffic, you want to get more people to come to your physical um, shop, then the store traffic objective can be very, very effective. And before you can use this objective, please know that you need to add all of your store locations to Facebook along with your hours of operation. Facebook will show your ads for the closest location to people within a specific radius, which can be set manually or automatically within your store set. So you need to have all this information set up before you can um, be, before you can run an ad for the store visit objective. And this objective is for businesses with more than one location. If you only have one store, consider using the reach objective to reach your local target audience. And so when should you use the conversions objective? If you have a physical store that you'd like people to visit, try the store visit campaign objective. You'll be able to reach people around your business just like you you would with local awareness ads, but the, um, these ads will have a little bit more information like when are we open, when are we closing, and so on. Once you choose which objective works for you, out of these 11 objectives, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to achieve? So for me, uh, Kijani Ridge, I want people, because I am going to use a couple of, I am going to use videos, so I'm going to use the video views objective. I have a landing page, so I'm going to use the traffic objective and I am going to use the conversion objective. Those are the three main objectives that I am going to use. And knowing that, then it will be so much easier for me to decide which ads I am going to create, how these ads are going to use to look and what I can expect from them. So that's why objectives matter. Your objectives are the bedrock of your campaign, your objectives tell Facebook what you want it to do. So it's so important that you get your objectives right. And now that we've created, you've known which objective to pick. Next, we have to build your ads panel. And when we build your ads panel, we'll now be ready to start creating ads. And that's what I want to show you next. I want to show you how to build your Facebook ads panel.